You can see how everything, you know, flush. You know, no deviations, all the way around, all of your lines flush. That's what we're looking for pre-paint. This is just him pushing it on. And we already got 90% of what we want without even a boat being tied down. That's good money, man. Good money. And, you know, not to even mention, we did the modification for the clearance for the bigger wheel wheel, but everything still retains its factory fit. All of your bolts for your fender trim, everything stays factory, but you have about an inch and a half clearance that Red created by, you know, a little bit of uh, massaging. He's a masseuse, he does it all. You know, Red's a great guy, he does it all. You need a massage, we got you. A lot of these pieces we put together body work them together to make sure all of the gaps are lined up to make sure it's a real good seamless fit. As you can see what Red's doing now, he's doing the work to the other side because we just finished this side. But that's a fender extension, but you don't see the line whatsoever there. That's the whole benefit of body working to where when you paint it, it looks as if it's this one piece. But if you take it apart, it's the gaps are perfect once it goes back together. So you only can achieve that finish by doing it in this method, lining everything up, folding everything up, body working it together, and then blow it apart, finish the little minor sands, and then paint it, you know, prime it, paint it at that point. So from the factory, you know, GM was happy with a 16th of an inch. So if it had a little minor deviation, they were okay with that. Well, we have the ability, being that we're building it from the ground up, to correct even those little minor flaws. But once you put it together and paint it, it, it makes such a big difference, you know. So all of the lines prior to body work are already lined up. Obviously, the fender is done. You remember when Red had the rust repair that was done here to this panel, but you see it still has the same slope that the, the rest of the car had. This hasn't been done. The only thing we did to this door, if you followed along, was stripped it to the metal, and we did all of the high spots with the with the stud gun. You know, when you seen Red using what we call the acupuncture method, like when you seen we got all of the metal, you know, pretty much smooth, and then from there, minimal bondo and blocking to get it, you know, all the way perfect, which is what he did from this point forward. So this is a door that still has to be body work, but. If you see the lines, the lines are lined up exactly where you want them to be pre-body work, and that's why we do it together. Now, when it's time to paint the car, we blow everything apart. As you can see, when Red's finished that side, he'll go to the hood. At that point, we'll start to take everything apart, put these up, and then keep going on with the hood, with the radiator support, the header panel, and then once we're done with the front clip, once we're done with the doors, We'll put everything up and then take the body off of the chassis and then do the back half of the body. But at that point, we will know all of the gaps are lined up where we want them at. We know once we put it back together, everything will stay at the same height where we wanted it and it'll come back and fit perfect. So there's a lot of details that goes in. It's a, it's a method to the madness here at VTSV Auto, but stay tuned. Check out the work, man. Give us a thumbs up. For those of y'all that haven't liked and subscribed, make sure you do that. That keeps us going strong. For those that have subscribed, two thumbs up to y'all for the support, man. We'll keep banging those videos out, man. VTSV Auto, let's go.